Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Customers Bison. Welcome back. We, as a family, made another trip to Missouri. We are in Belton, Missouri, and uh, we're here to buy some bison. Aren't we, Brooks? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're expanding real fast, so <laughs> stay tuned, guys. Buddy, oh. Arabella. That's Arabella. Look, Brooks, right here. Get your hand out. Oh, horse. Horse. <laughs> Horsey. Horse oh, female. She always has female babies. Really? They're always black. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And they're always big. Good girl. Doing. Huh? Better. Get your little fingers. Yeah, don't get <laughs> Go back. Go back, buddy. You know, you, you can't be so close so quickly. <laughs> Brooks will like you, I'm sure. Uh, Pretty horsey. <laughs> yeah. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to get the yearlings pinned up, sort through them, hopefully load some up.
they come into this pen a lot faster than I thought. That didn't take long. She's about to. That one right there. We made it back, obviously too late, it's dark. Not the best situation. I was hoping we'd get here a little quicker, but we hung out with Peter and Jim for a long time, showing us around the place and whatnot, but we made it here. Got nine animals in the trailer. Um, we're expanding, um, obviously. I'm gonna talk to you more about that, but right now um, I'm gonna, I've got yearlings in the back and then I've got some bulls in the front. So I've got to, uh, I'm gonna put the yearlings with my, about to be yearlings, what I call my calves, they're about to be yearlings. I'm gonna put them with them. I'm gonna put the bulls separate in the new pen that Kevin and I built a couple weeks ago before we actually handled our animals here for our spring vaccination. So um, it was a long trip up to Missouri, but it's we're glad to be home. And um, just like I said, it's not ideal, luckily. Luckily we have the barn light and the moon is bright tonight. So we'll, we'll take that for sure. But um, I'll back up here, let them out, leave them alone. And then I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys. See you tomorrow. All right, so we made it back safely. Got them unloaded last night. Everything went good. Let them out. They took their time. 
I couldn't really film it for you. It's hard to get it in the dark. Um, we do have some lights out here and there's a full moon, but it wasn't enough to really show you. So, but I uh, just want to show you guys where we're keeping them. This is the new lot that Kevin and I built uh, before we actually worked our bison, uh, which you saw a couple weeks ago. But uh, got four bulls here, healthy, good looking bulls. Um, and then I got some yearlings over here. I still got them some hay out. Got these guys some hay. Um, just so they have something to munch on in here. And what we'll probably do is we're going to feed them out of here. Um, you know, you guys know how important it is to put them in a home base. Well, this is their home base for now. It's a good lot just for these four uh, two-year-old bulls. And then we'll let them out in places like this where they can graze and whatnot. So they'll have grass, hay, and feed. So you guys are probably wondering, Dusty, what in the world are you doing with four two-year-old bulls and five yearlings well there's a lot of questions there but some of you have asked and some of you have been interested um, in do we create a meat line well this is the beginning process of a meat line i know some of you may be upset about that um, it may come at you the wrong way i want to promise you something right now um, i am not slaughtering or processing any of the animals that you've got to know along this journey um dunbar eleanor peaches any of them guys i want you to understand they will not be slaughtered okay the calves i have right now will not be slaughtered i went and purchased these animals from another producer to kind of speed up our journey it takes bison a long time it's like a four or five year process just to get babies where you can or to have bison calves where you can actually sell them if you want to sell them for meat if you want to sell them for breeding it can take four or five years depending on what animals you have and so you've been with me a while remember we just started off with yearlings and um, this it just takes a while but my wife and i have come together and, and try to create a business plan and uh, we're wanting to get into the meat side of it because whether you know it or not and i may have mentioned it these are some of the healthiest animals this is some of the healthiest meat that you can eat and um, that's all I'm gonna get into right now and I know you guys probably have lots of questions for me and what we're gonna do with these animals we're not changing a whole lot but we're gonna bring you some new stuff that um, I'm really excited about some I've been a, a huge fan of for a long time a, and uh, that I just love to eat um, so I just want you guys to be ready for it and I'm just letting you know there's some good stuff happening and there's some good stuff coming I will keep you updated on how cross timbers bison is changing um, we're still keeping our two herds big Joe herd and our Dunbar herd nothing is changing there okay stay with me I promise we're just having some new additions and uh, some new things happening with the cross timbers bison uh, herd that we're getting into so stay tuned with that and i'll keep you updated and i'll i'll educate you kind of sort of naturally just being a teacher that's what i do and um, keep you in the loop on what's going on and what we're doing with these animals and so i just want to thank peter cole uh peter's been uh in this industry for about as long as doc parsons has and um he's he's a, really into the meat side of things he's got casey buffalo company if you guys don't know what Casey Buffalo Company is. It's located just south of Kansas City, and he supplies a lot of bison meat to the Kansas City area, and he has lots of customers that he's built a reputation with for, I don't know, the past 30 years or so. And uh, I just wanna give a huge shout out to him. You can go also watch one of his interviews with um, my buddy Noah at Broken Arrow Bison. Noah already knew Peter, and they're close to each other i mean like kansas and missouri they're a lot closer so they work with each other more and it, you can learn a lot more about peter with that uh, interview with noah at broken arrow bison my buddy there you can go check him out and kind of get a backstory on everything and and, and peter's um view and history with the bison and uh that's good stuff that's priceless and and he spent a lot of time with marissa and i and brooks um over that saturday when we were there picking up these bison showed us around showed us the store 
and everything like that but you can uh, he's a great guy very knowledgeable and didn't hesitate to answer any of the questions that we were asking him so just very thankful for peter and uh giving us the time of, of his day and his busy weekend but he's been doing this for a long time you guys can go check him out it's at kc buffalo company i think you can check check him out online or if you're in the missouri kansas area he's just uh, south of kansas city in the town of belton missouri he's got some cool stuff he's got jerky summer sausage any cut of bison you name it liver heart shanks i know a lot of the shanks go to some cancer patients and stuff like that um for the bone marrow which i think is amazing that's amazing i hope i can help people do that someday great guy been in the industry for a long time part of the missouri bison association very involved and uh he supports people like marissa and i and noah in doing what we do so bison here i'll keep you updated with them and so just stay in touch with me Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the three-part series of working the bison. Uh, and I just want to thank Cole and Chandler again for coming up and filming. Well, it was great. We had a lot of fun and got a lot of cool, cool footage. And um, that's why we do it. So we can bring it right to you right here. And uh, Big Herd, keep you updated on them. They're doing great. Uh, Dunbar and the ladies, they're in rotation right now, back and forth from pasture to pasture. Do a little mob grazing is probably what you call it. Kevin's helped me do a lot of that um, with uh, the rotational grazing. So that's going great. And Big Joe and Kit and Flo, they're doing great. They're back and forth. Uh, let them out in the pasture and whatnot. So they're getting that green grass as well. So anyways, stay in touch, guys. And uh, thank you.